first thing after these preparation steps, meaning we put in, uh, yeah, let's like say we fix the uh, details, we have our sketch, okay? So the next thing would be to work on the forms, okay? The bigger forms first and then the smaller forms, yeah? So you have to imagine or you have to concentrate on two, two things at this stage. One thing is the, um, uh, the tonal values, yeah, to get them right. Like I said, separate and concentrate on the values and then uh, to work out the forms. Since we have a flat tone, um, it's like this paper, yeah? this, this is the paper tone. So it's, it's just flat, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have any form, okay? So if we start shading, let's say we're using the uh, uh, charcoal pencils and I would start shading like this, slowly and we create a gradation. Remember the gradation exercise from the beginning? Yeah, so I'm slowly creating a gradation. That means I curve the form away from the light like this. As you can see, there's a shadow starting to appear, right? And this is just a soft gradation, yeah? From the paper tone, getting slowly darker and darker. Not too dark because we have plenty of lights here. If we only had this light source, of course, it would go into pretty much black. Yeah, so like in our um, exercise. If we use the white pencil, yeah, like this, like we also did in our example, we're adding or we're curving the form towards the light. Yeah, not just flat, but in this way, in this case, like this. So we create lighter parts like here. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Every time now you you put your pencil down, you start shading. You're shading a gradation, yeah, always. And by that, you're describing the form, how much, in which direction it curves away from the line. Uh, you can see it if... Uh, this. Yeah, if we have, uh, for example, the easiest in our case would be maybe the forehead. So it's not a strong gradation, but we're still, as you can see maybe, yeah, from this tone slowly getting darker, yeah, to this tone. There. So it's this is the gradation. Yeah. Um a stronger gradation would be of course if we have from uh, from here, from the light part going here, curving away from the light. Here is a bit of, um, uh, here this cast shadow and here is also form shadow. Like on the nose, yeah, you have the gradation, but here, the, here this tiny gradation here, but it's in a smaller scale. So because here it, the, the nose, the bridge of the nose curves away quicker from the light than the forehead. Yeah, so you have a smaller gradation or faster gradation, yeah? Um, yeah, so always gradation, same as with, let's see, the nose, yeah, curves away. Yeah, so you have a gradation, this is pretty much what we did, the exercise, the gradation from there to there. Okay, and the other thing would be uh, figuring out our tone, yeah, that we're working so again, tissue, in this case, we use tissue. Uh, we can use, let's say we could use the brush for this part here, although I don't think I actually used the, the dark one here. Like I said, I don't want to use the brush uh, anywhere else for now. Then we also use the 
mending stumps. Let's say here. This needs to get much darker, but I started with the uh, Durban dock for now. And then we use the uh, tissue again, very light pressure, just picking it up. Blending it. Right, if you're unsure about the, um, if you have the right value, again, yeah, check. We have this quite, <clears throat> quite dark. Yeah, so mine is a bit lighter or close to it. Uh, so we could use, maybe if I just make this a little, here, this form shadow. If I just introduce the form shadow a bit. That's like so. And, and, and if I blend that, the tissue should get dirty enough so that I can dirt, uh, darken this whole area just a bit. I, blend it, I uh, shade it there a bit because there's kind of like a cast shadow here. Shade overlapping into the uh, hair. Don't stop short before it. Uh, make sure that you just shade and blend into there. to blend uh, the eyeball before we blend or work on anything uh, else. Yeah? Or we want to finish the eyeball before we work on the eye. And then you just put it on the side next to you, maybe print it out. Yeah? So you, you can see all the muscles and, and bones that are actually causing these uh, uh, shadings, yeah? the form shadows. Yeah? Like Here's the ring muscle, and uh, here you can still see it, uh, here it goes around. Here it's not so visible in this case, here it's a little bit, this is why we have the fold here, because the, there's, a, there's this ring muscle around the, around the mouth, yeah? going here, you can still see it here. Um, also, you get clearer uh, understanding of the mouth, because the lips that we see as lips, is smaller than the mouth. The mouth actually is bigger, so the form is bigger, like the, the lips form part of the uh, the mouth. If you can, see, you, here you can see it. Yeah, here's the lip uh, skin. Yeah, but the mus uh, the um, the mouth actually is bigger. The same goes with here. Yeah, this is actually going higher like this. Yeah, on this part. But the, the texture of the lips or the skin of the lips is smaller. So the lips themselves are smaller, but the form is bigger. So you want to shade the form 
and put the lips on top of them, for example. And the same goes with the eyes. Yeah, you want to really understand how the eyes work with the eye sockets and uh, the eyeballs, yeah, the eyelids, and so on and so on. So that helps. Oh, it's actually crucial. Yeah, in this workshop. Uh, sorry, in this workshop. In in your art, if you do portraits. Or